Hey everyone, how you doing? Corey here, coming back at you in another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about DSLR versus mirrorless. So I know this topic has been covered before by a range of people. Uh, one of my favorite people who I uh, like to watch on YouTube is Gerald Poland or Phonos Photo. Uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, below or up above here to watch that particular video where he discusses and goes in depth uh, between DSLR and also mirrorless. Now the video is two years old, but there's quite a few other people who have more recent updates to it. Uh, not a lot has changed. So for me in this regard, what does that mean? Uh, you know, why well, from DSLR to a mirrorless back to a DSLR? Uh, it's kind of the same thing where I discussed in a previous video where um, I need a bit of a faster autofocus. Uh, video capabilities were there. Uh, and also also the budget right now and, and the big thing big factor for anyone and everyone is essentially the the lens selection uh, Now it depends on which uh, which brand you kind of go to for the most part. I think Fuji has the best uh, range selection for uh, lenses becomes to mirrorless cameras. Uh, I think Canon and uh, Panasonic and Sony have a lot of catching up to do, but Fuji right now is in the best spot when it comes to lenses for your mirrorless camera. Uh, Canon is still trying to play catch up a little bit. Sony uh, has a, a kind of a new partnership with uh, with Sigma, Tamron, so it's slowly working into that field when it comes to a big range selection of lenses for a mirrorless camera. Um, that's kind of really one of the downsides. Uh, the one thing I will definitely miss is the uh, electronic viewfinder, also known as the EVF, which I've really come to love. But Jared Poland kind of points out a few things, as well as other people, to where um, sometimes it lags, sometimes it doesn't, um, but it's gotten better. Uh, the X-T1 was really, really good. Uh, the X-T2 has just gotten better in that respect when it comes to EVF. Um, it, you, you see what you really get. I mean, it's like 99.9% .9 spot on. Um, that's one thing I would definitely miss. But with the uh, capability to do more low light, it, it's really good with the, uh, with the T7i, which I'm filming myself on right now. Um, that's one thing I will definitely miss. I will miss that. Um, but there's pros and cons to everything. Uh, and for me, it just came down to just just what I wanted. Uh, I wanted both the, uh, a great stills camera, also a, a video type camera, so I can do all in one package. Uh, and I think right now Canon, it, it, they offer the best in that. Uh, I think Sony's not that far behind, even though people will say, uh, well, uh, Sony shoots uh, full frame 4K and their, DSL, and their uh, mirrorless cameras. Uh, so Sony's neck and neck with Canon. Um, and I think what comes down to it is uh, it's a preference thing. It's, uh, it, it could preference means it could be budget. It could be a particular um, look, the way the uh, the brands handle skin tones, uh, or it could be just another factor. Just a preferencing as far as how do you like the feel of the body? How do you how does it feel in your hand? Uh, there's so many things. It's very subjective, of course. You know, it, it comes down to a preference in that in that regard. Um, so for me, going from DSLR to mirrorless back to DSLR now, um, it's a bit of a not really an undertaking. So I have to kind of really think uh, before I shoot. Um, but it's kind of the same thing I did with the Fuji, even though everything on the top of the camera itself was pretty much laid out. My ISO on this side, uh, how my exposure dial on this side, so it really, really worked. It's not yet I can't do the same thing with the with the Canon here. I just gotta kind of put muscle memory back into it, really what it comes down to, and using the, uh, the shortcuts here and there. So, um, but that is it. That's what I wanted to say real quick. Um, so thank you all for watching the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe already, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.